So today we have the Sony PlayStation Spider-Man 2 DualSense Limited Edition controller. We just got it today, so we're gonna get it unboxed for you. But first things first, we are gonna take a look around the box. So first we have obviously the controller, Spider-Man 2 Marvel Sony. On this side we have the Spider-Man logo. It says the content. So we're gonna get the Spider-Man DualSense wireless controller and the instruction manual. At the back we have another better look at the DualSense controller. It says heighten your senses. And then we have the Spider-Man 2 logo once again again and obviously it's compatible for the ps5 so now let's get this box open first we're just gonna get this flap opened so we pull that out and we'll just see another box in there just make this aside for now oh that's kind of tight in there and then now for the reveal okay so there's obviously package in there uh, that is going to be the controller, but we're going to take it out later. And then we have the instruction manual again. We're not going to read it. So I'm just going to put that all aside. And we're going to bring this to attention. So let's take that out. And boom, that is the new Spider-Man 2 limited edition controller. So this is the first glance at the controller. I think it looks absolutely, you know, amazing. Uh, just to quickly go around the controller with you folks, we have the black buttons over here, and then we have the white contrasted buttons over here, which is, I think, a nice touch to the controller. And then we have the white Spider-Man logo on top. Now, another cool design feature, although it's not textured, is kind of this Venom kind of design sleeping through the front portion of the controller. Now, moving over to the back, we have this black kind of plate at the back. Now, I do have some concerns with this controller. Number one, I feel like this red over here, which is kind of orange, dark orange, dark red kind of a mix, could have kind of seeped through through the back as well, and not just kind of this abrupt stop, right? And we could have also had this Venom design kind of seeping through the back as well. Another concern I do have is I felt like the black doesn't match with this um, kind of bottom or middle plate, and it feels like, you know, the same color, the dark, dark, you know, very dark uh, blue or uh, or navy blue kind of design from the original DualSense controllers. Now just to take a quick comparison, I'm going to be putting this right beside the God of War Ragnarok DualSense controller and we can actually see the God of War Ragnarok DualSense controller, they kind of, you know, took time and effort to kind of match the colors, right? They took the time to kind of match the colors and then this blue kind of seeps to the back and then we have the God of War Ragnarok kind of, you know, design or the kind of the writing on the back. Now with this controller on the other hand, it just a black plate right there's no design here no design element it just seems like sony was kind of lazy when it comes to kind of manufacturing this maybe they wanted to cut costs because they just took the original kind of light lightly blue tinted black uh face plates from like the original controllers and then they just added this you know darker black on the top and then designed this venom in the front and they didn't continue that design at the back which i think kind of you know throws throws kind of the appreciation for the control off for me and i think you know it would have been better if the design was more seamless throughout the entirety of the controller, but otherwise, it's a nice controller. And another thing that I felt like Sony could have also done is, you know, Spider-Man 2 coming out, there's three different characters, right? We have Miles Morales, we have Spider-Man, we have Venom, and they could have, you know, launched three different editions as well. But overall, it is a nice controller, but with that, this video comes to an end. And if you like this video, please be sure to share this video with your friends and family, subscribe, comment down below, like, and do everything you can to help this video get across. Until next time, it's your boy Yap. Peace.